me in Ms. Wallace's class, we talk about that there are two types of writing. There are two types of writing. There's uh, real writing, and then there's story writing. One more time, there's real writing, and then there's story writing. Yeah, there's real writing, and then there's star writing. And our audience for star writing, who is she? What's her name? Her name is? Granny. She's an old, retired English teacher that's making us take this silly test. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We want to knock her tail out because she's making us take this silly test. True. True. Okay, so this is not this is not real writing. This is not beautiful masterpiece writing, but this is star writing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, and this is our um, persuasive essay. Okay. In your persuasive essay, you've got a 26 line box to work off of. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what we've got to work with right here. You got to make it very condensed. True. True. Here's how we're gonna do that. Here's how we're gonna fit our beautiful writing into that 26 line box. Oh yeah. Oh okay, yeah. You stay with me. Here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. So, right here, yeah. you echo it back to me. Two, five, five, two, uh! 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 Two, five, five, two, uh. Two, five, five, two, uh. Okay, so two, five, five, two represents the fact that I need how many paragraphs in my essay? I need four! Read to me! I need four! four. Right? And then so my two represents my introduction paragraph. Whoop, 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 whoop! Yeah, my introduction paragraph, it's not normally in a real... Lock in with me. In a real introduction paragraph, what's our acronym for a real introduction paragraph? And. and. Be confident. It is and. We don't have room for that this time. We've got to have two sentences. Two sentences. Not two lines. Not two lines, but two full sentences. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so and we're, we got to get rid of that N this time. We don't need our necessary information this time. We need an A. You say it back to me. A stands for our attention. Yeah. yeah. We're going to use the seven effective lead. We get these from Kelly Gallagher. Tell me, just off the top of your head right now, if you can remember, some seven effective leads. Someone pop off the seven effective lead. Colin. Describe character. Good. Let's keep calling. Three. Good. All right, Ben. Emotion. Emotion. Double clap. Good, Will. Oh, dialogue. Dialogue, excellent. Let's give him three. Good. Action. Action, good. Give Morgan three. Okay, so these are some of our seven effective leads right here. We do not, these two things we do not do, okay? Now, this is this is star writing, this is not real writing. Star writing, are they okay, unfortunately? And Miss Wallace is for a masterpiece. We do not ask questions. True. True. Because you're the expert. Like it with me. You're the expert. You don't have to ask questions. Whoop, 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 whoop. Star writing's not real writing, so they seem to be okay with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I would rather you use a seven effective lead when it comes to your attention getter, but if you blank on that star test, remember, it's a timed writing. It's a timed test, so if you if you freak out, ah, okay, then you put a question down. Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. But you know Miss Wallace is for a masterpiece, for a real writing, you would never, never do that. True? True. You promise me right now, you would never, never do that. You would never, never do that. Excellent. Okay, so now, that. most important part of our essay right here. Most important oh, yeah. part, put it right here. Give me just a second, guys. Yeah, put it right here. It's our thesis statement. You say it back to me. It's our what statement? It's our thesis. thesis. In our thesis statement, it's what we are. Proving. Yeah, say it one more time. It's what we are. Proving. Proving. You got nervous. Here we go. Our thesis statement is what we are. Proving. About a persuasive essay right here. A thesis statement is what we are proving. Bam, bam, right? Bam, bam. We want to knock the baby lady, yeah, lady out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We want to knock her out. Bam, bam. So we talked about the uh, the prompt about if a big city is better than a small city. Okay, so right here we talked about which one is better. And when, here's what we said when we wrote one together. We said that a big city is better than a small city because there's more opportunities. Bam. And there's more entertainment. Bam! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We want to knock her tail out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Double clap. Okay, so attention getter thesis statement. That's our two. Now get your arm up. We're in our first body paragraph. Okay, so from our thesis statement, we're going to talk about that bigger cities are better because they provide more opportunities. Good. Okay, topic sentence. We introduce the idea of the body paragraph. We want to make it nice and smooth right here. Our lift off sentence. We're going to build background. Build background information. Now, third sentence right here. Here's where it's not real. This is this is fake star writing. True. True. Good. Right here, this is called our ski quote because quotes don't move. In a real essay, put your arm down for a second. I know you're gonna get tired. Ski quote. In a real essay, we would be providing textual evidence right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But this is not a real one. This is a star essay. That's why it's not real. Okay. All right. So right here, you're gonna grab a, uh, an idea out of thin air. Whoop, whoop. You're gonna put it on your paper right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so you're gonna think about something. I what? Here's what my suggestion is to you. Come in prepared. This is a timed writing. True? True. So I know I know sports. How 
have what you know the best, come in with it. If you know the Hunger Games, come in with it. If you know something about what's going on in real, real life and current events, come in with those examples ready to go in case you cannot think of something the day of the test. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good, here we go. Put it back up. Ski quote, we want to make it nice. We cannot give her a belly buster right here. We're going to, we're going to, right here. It's our land quote. We're going to blank on the quote. We're going to, reflect. we're going to show the deeper meaning. It's not a quote this time. We're going to reflect on whatever example we provided. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sentence five right here, our concluding sentence. We're simply going to rephrase the topic sentence. You guys are awesome. Here we go. So that was our two and then our five. So do it with me one more time. You don't have to yell this time. Topic sense, we're going to introduce the idea of the body paragraph. So we're going to introduce it. This second body paragraph is going to be about fam, that bigger cities are better than, the, than smaller cities because they provide more entertainment. Good. Lift off. We're going to build. Good. Here we go. Ski quote because quotes don't fall. Again, it's not a quote because this is a fake star essay and not a real one. Good. Land quote. We're going to blank up the quote. We're going to blank. Show the theory. Good. Concluding sentence. We're simply going to rephrase the topic sentence. Good. Our conclusion. Two sentences. Two. Two. Okay. This is our last paragraph right here. Two. Right here. R T and L T. R T. R T stands for. Yeah. We're gonna rephrase R. In case Granny Lady fell asleep on your essay, you're gonna say, Hey, Granny, here's what I just proved to you in my beautiful essay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. And then we're gonna L T. We're gonna leave our reader with a mind, not a back or a question. Here's how we dig to get to that thought. In case you struggle to get to that critical thought right here, we're gonna ask ourselves two R words. What's the result? What's the result? Real. One more time. What's the result? And what's the result? Real. We're gonna leave our reader with a thought, not a fact or a question. What's the result? What's the result? Reveal. Here we go. Two, five, five, two. 